Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about the Kyrene Justice Court. Now, if you were stopped by an officer, either a Maricopa County Sheriff's Officer or a DPS officer, and you were cited with a misdemeanor, you are going to go to a justice court. And specifically, you will go to the Kyrene Justice Court if you fall within certain boundaries. Now, if you're stopped by a city cop, for misdemeanor, you're going to go to city court, and that's a different topic. Now, the boundaries for the Kyrene Justice Court, and I have a map here, you can see they jut every which way. It's going to be University Drive to the north, Beltline to the south, Price Road to the east, and 43rd Avenue to the west. So if you're stopped anywhere within the yellow here, uh, they're going to cite you to the Kyrene Justice Court. Now, it's very important to have a lawyer because if they cited you just outside of the jurisdiction, yet sent you to the Kyrene Justice Court, you have a jurisdictional defense that could get your whole case thrown out. Now, in regard to the address of the court, it is located at 201 East Chicago Street. That's in Chandler, 85225. Parking, plenty of parking out front. There's no problems there. When you dress to go to court, make sure you're dressed professionally. Have a collared shirt on, have long pants. Don't wear cutoffs, don't wear sunglasses, don't wear hats. Judge isn't going to like it. You want to look professional. Now, when you get there, the judge in this court is John McComish. Now, he's a brand new judge, so I don't know much about him. But the one thing I do know is he's not a lawyer. That means he didn't go to law school and pass the Arizona State Bar. You're probably shocked. What do you mean the judge is not a lawyer? Well, in Arizona, under the Arizona State Constitution, they're allowed to be, people are allowed to be a justice of the peace uh, as long as they don't have a felony record and they have a high school diploma. That's all it takes, and you get elected. Um, what will happen is, once he's elected, he gets sent to classes, several weeks of classes, then he comes in to judge people's guilt or innocence or make ruling on evidentiary hearings. Now, the problem with that is, Normally, if it's just a defendant against the prosecutor, the prosecutor will submit briefs and the judge will tend to listen to what the prosecutor has to say because they're trained in the law. If you have a private lawyer, the beauty is we can go in, file written briefs, we can argue the law to the judge, correct any misstatements by the prosecutor. The other benefit of having a private lawyer is once you go into court, um, the order is that they have interpreter cases. Those are people who don't speak English and need an interpreter. The in-custody interpreters first, the out-of-custody second, then, it's the, uh, then it goes to the private attorneys and we're the next up. So we can get you in and out of the court usually within 30 to 45 minutes. If you don't have a lawyer, then you have to wait for all the public defender cases and then they start going alphabetically on the rest of them. So you may be there all the way to the afternoon just to see the judge for 30 seconds. So it is good to have private counsel. So if you've been charged with a crime and you've been sent to the Kyrene Justice Court, Go to our website, dmcantor.com. You can see all of our wins. We have over 130 jury trial complete acquittals. All charges found not guilty walking out of the court. Plus, we have over 3,000 overall victories. We've had charges knocked down. We've beat four out of five charges with only the minimum charge being left, things of that nature. And you'll see we know what we're doing. So if you've been charged or a loved one's been charged, give us a call. I look forward to hearing from you soon.